Gucci Grayson the Crocodile, the key players in Zimbabwe politics. CNN, political strife in the southern African country of Zimbabwe, has seen armed soldiers on the streets of the capital, Air. The sudden appearance of the military in the capital comes amid rising political tensions in the wake of Robert Mugab firing his deputy, powerful Vice President Emerson Nangagwa. Follow live updates. While the 93-year-old has maintained an iron grip on the country since he led it to independence in 1980, many Zimbabwe watchers see Mugab at perhaps his most vulnerable in decades. So who are the main political figures in the country? President Robert Mugab is the world's oldest president and has been in control of the country for almost four decades first as prime minister and then as president. For the 1980s and part of the 1990s he was fed at home and abroad, but gradually became more authoritarian and by 1993 had instituted the Land Acquisition Act, permitting the government to force white farmers to give up their land for redistribution to black Zimbabweans. Since then he has presided over mass inflation and food shortages brought about by his disastrous land reallocation programs. As conditions in Zimbabwe worsened and accusations of human rights abuses escalated, institutions around the world, including the British Crown, stripped him of honors previously bestowed on him. In July of this year Muga urged his ruling ZANUPF party to ensure that his legacy remains long after he is gone. Emerson Nangaguam Ningagwa, known as Gwenya or the Crocodile, to many because of his well-owned survival instincts, was with Mugab from the start. He's been Mugab's right-hand man for nearly four decades, first as his assistant during the liberation struggle, later as his intelligence chief, then cabinet minister and all-round enforcer. Nangagwa had previously been considered most likely to succeed Mugab if the president stepped down or died while in office. Nangagwa has a strong following in Zimbabwe's powerful military and amongst war veterans who fought in the liberation struggle and has been a key strategist for Mugab in past elections, says David Coltert, a former cabinet minister and opposition leader. But earlier this month Mugab accused Nangagwa of disloyalty, disrespect, deceitfulness and unreliability in a move to pave the way for his wife, Grace, to succeed him. Born in South Africa, Mugab's second wife has developed a reputation as a shrewd, if sometimes extravagant, politician in her own right. Given the moniker, Gucci Grace, by Zimbabweans for her exorbitant shopping trips, she has been a polarizing figure in a country wrecked with poverty. Despite this, she has long had the support of younger politicians in the country's political hierarchy. Nangagwa's sudden dismissal was seen by many as a way for 93-year-old Mugab to appoint his wife, Grace, to the position, prompting widespread discontent among formerly loyalist supporters. Minister for Defense Sidney Sekarame and Minister for Defense Sidney Sekarame is believed to be a contender for the vice presidency and is considered a dark horse in the succession drama. Tinish Jacko, a Southern Africa analyst at the African Studies Association of Australasia and the Pacific, AFSAAP, said. His elevation to the VP post would be a strategic move to curb perceptions of a Muga dynasty.